22 students at St. Thomas Elementary School are in the running for five positions to help lead their classmates. The candidates made their speeches and put forth their platforms on why they should receive a vote from their peers. I said like all my info and uh, I didn't want to make any promises because I didn't want to be a liar. Most of the hopefuls admitted they got a helping hand from their parents. Teachers tell us they've seen a lot of effort put forth by the kids. They have really embraced uh, this project. Uh, they've been making posters, they've been making buttons, they've been handing out um, pamphlets and posters and things like that, and they've really gotten into the spirit of the elections. School officials say it's an opportunity to tie in what students are learning in class with what is happening in our city. And it kind of shows them that uh, in a democratic society, it's, it's their duty to go out and vote. They have a voice and so they should use it. The candidates explain they discovered what it's really like to run for a seat. It teaches you that you really have to prepare and get ready for this or else you might not know what to say and what to do. And it's scary. You can always learn stuff from other people and you don't always have to have the ideas. You can get ideas from everyone else. Many students add they are enjoying the experience, but most say that they would think twice about taking it on as a full-time job. Depends on if, if, I, if I'm busy or not and stuff. That depends who I'm up against. <laughs> Leading up to the election, students have learned about the process in their social studies class. On the 18th, they'll cast their ballot just like the rest of the city. Brianna Carson-Smith, Chat News.